Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to another video in the Amazon Lex chatbot playlist where we'll integrate a simple Lexbot with Slack. This video is actually the result of a comment to the validate slot data with Lambda video I had previously created, asking if I'd release a video on bot integration with Slack. So I hope you find this content interesting. If you followed along with the prior videos in the playlist, you'll recall that I walked through creating a Lex chatbot in detail. So for this video, I'll focus on the Lex and Slack integration and not on building out a full featured bot. If you'd like to take a deeper dive into building the bot, feel free to check out the videos in this playlist. Now, to get started with this demo, I'll jump into the Lex console and click the Create Bot button. I'll be using the create a blank bot creation method and I'll give the bot a name of Burger Buddy. For the IAM permissions, I'll select create a role with basic Amazon Lex permissions and select no for COPA. Then I'll click next. I'll leave the default language selections and click done. Now I'm presented with a new intent, which I'll rename to greeting then scroll down to sample utterances. Here I'll add an utterance of hi and an utterance of hello. Next, I'll jump down to the fulfillment section and add a message. Now I'll go ahead and save the intent then build the bot, and now run an initial test. I'll enter high, and we see our initial fulfillment response. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go back to the intent list and add a new intent named order. So now I'll jump down to utterances and add an utterance for I'd like to order a burger and I'd like a burger. Next, I need to add a slot and I'll give this slot a name of burger a slot type of alphanumeric and a prompt of what type of burger would you like? I'll add the slot and finally jump down to fulfillment and add a message Your burger has been ordered, where burger is the value of the burger slot we created above. Now I'll go ahead and save the intent, rebuild the bot, and run another test. So I'll start with hi, and we get the message, hello, how can I help you? I'd like to order a burger. Then we get the message, what type of burger would you like? And I'll enter cheeseburger. And finally, your cheeseburger has been ordered. Okay, so it looks like our bot is in good shape. So now we could start working on integrating with Slack. And to do that, I'll go back to my bot's intent list. Then under deployment, I'll choose channel integrations. From here, I'll add a channel and select Slack. I'll give the integration configuration a name of Burger Buddy and then select the bot alias of test bot alias. 
the language will be English. And then for the additional configuration, I need to jump over to Slack, create a workspace, then populate these fields. So over on slack.com, I'll click the try for free button, enter my email address and click continue. Now I'll jump over to my email and grab the code and create a workspace. Now with the workspace created, I'll jump over to a new tab and head over to api.slack.com. From here, I'll go ahead and click the create an app button. I'll select to create from scratch. Give it a name and select my workspace. And now create the app. Now, if I jump down to the app credentials section, we'll see the credentials that I need to integrate with Lex. So from here, I'll copy the client ID and save this off, then the client secret and the verification token. Now I'll jump over to the interactivity and shortcut section and turn interactivity on. Then in the request URL, I'll add a temporary URL to slack.com and then click save changes. Now, back over in the Lex console, I'll add the client ID I copied from Slack, the client secret, and the verification token. I'll leave the success page URL empty, then click Add. Now, I'll go into my Burger Buddy channel integration and copy the endpoint for the callback URL and the OAuth endpoint and save them off. Now I'll jump back over to the Slack API, go into the OAuth and Permissions tab, and add a new redirect URL, and add the OAuth endpoint URL I copied from Lex. I'll click Add, and Save URLs. In the Bot Token Scope section, I'll add two permissions, one for chat write, and one for team read. Now I'll head back over to the interactivity and shortcut section and replace the temporary URL to my callback endpoint from Lex. Now I'll save changes and jump over to the event subscription tab. Here I'll enable events and paste in my Lex endpoint and then under the subscribe to bots event section, I'll add a bot user event of message I am. Now I'll save the changes. Now I'll click the app home link under features and in the show tab section, I'll click the checkbox to allow users to send slash commands and messages from the message tab. Then click the Manage Distribution link under Section and click the Add to Slack button to install the application. Here I'll click Allow and then select the Burger Buddy Bot app. Now I'll go ahead and add a message of Hi. And we see the response from our Lex chatbot. Hello, how can I help you? So I'll enter, I'd like to order a burger. And I'm prompting with what type of burger would you like? I'll enter cheeseburger. And we get our fulfillment message of your cheeseburger has been ordered. So that concludes this demo on integrating an Amazon Lex chatbot with Slack. I hope you found it interesting.